Now, how's this for an interesting fact? The Canal Sun I 900 LEG is the most expensive motorhome we're testing in this series. Its on the road price is just over £100,000. So, what exactly does a van have to have that makes it just into six figures to prize open your checkbook? Now, a nice set of LED daytime running lights would be definitely in my list of priorities. And how about some smart alloy wheels? Well, this tag axle van has six of them, so there's another tick in that particular book. And what about this back panel? It's absolutely amazing. It doesn't look like a motorhome at all, and the automotive styling will really turn heads on the road. And how's this for an integrated all-in-one service hatch? This is another Canals Hallmark, and it's been much imitated. On this side, you have the connections for the water, and on this side, the electrics. Everything's very easy to get at and in one easy-to-find place. You also get an 85-centimetre satellite dish on the top of the vehicle, so no matter where you're touring across Europe, you'll be able to pick up some fantastic programmes, including Practical Motome TV. You also get these coach-style wing mirrors, which give you a fantastic picture backwards and also thanks to a split section in the bottom down below. Perfect for parking. Now, this van was built for the UK market in Germany, but unfortunately, they don't rehand the vehicles. So what would have been the driver's door in Germany is on the UK near side. But I'm not complaining because it's just saving me a bit of shoe leather getting into the van. Now, an A-class motorhome, of course, offers fantastic visibility from the cab. And in this particular instance, it's even better because being right-hand drive, there's no big pillar here that you would have on the left-hand drive version. Other cool things in the cab, Comfortmatic transmission, a cost option upgrade, as is the 180 bhp engine upgrade. You also get chrome rings around the dash, steering wheel mounted controls for the stereo, and most importantly of all, and as you would expect in an A-class motorhome, a leather steering wheel. You also have manual air conditioning where surely automatic would have been preferred and the colour reversing camera feeds through to this small display on the head unit which as you'll notice also has a CD slot. Above that we have the trusty tablet holder that we've enjoyed a lot this season and in this case bronze infills on these ventilators. And yet more features in this cab are traction control, hill descent, USB connectivity on the dash and those double bottle holders down there which have been a great addition. Now, I mentioned earlier on about these fantastic things that should make up the £100,000 price, and I've just found another one. It's the electric blinds on the front of the vehicle. Absolutely fantastic. Now, perhaps not unsurprisingly, the interior vibe in Canals' top-of-the-range motorhome offering is very agreeable indeed. Just check out this super comfortable furniture. It feels really good. And look at the vibe of the overhead lockers. They've got gloss facings and those articulated handles that really denote when you're in something quite expensive. Now, this lounge table moves around a bit as well, but it also has something else up its sleeve. It has a section in the middle that allows you to grow it in real time. Very clever indeed. The 900 LEG's galley certainly makes the most of the available length of the van. There's plenty of space to play with and the equipment is pretty good too. Three gas burners under this lid, a very deep sink with smart mixer tap, loads of drawers underneath with cutlery at the top and all soft closing of course. And talking about soft closing, how's this for a pleasing action? Just pop that one down. Fantastic. German quality at its best. On the other side of the vehicle, we have a fridge with separate freezer compartment, and above that, an oven and grill. Next to that, slightly down below, we have a slide out apothecary rack for all your storage needs, and next to that, a cocktail cabinet with space for nine glasses inside it. Very good. And if you're wondering where you would put your drinks to serve them to your guests, then that problem has been taken care of too. At the end of the galley is a handy bar. Spread your drinks out there to serve your guests in the very welcoming and accommodating dinette area. And when the drinks have been drunk and the books have been read, and maybe it's time for a little bit of on-screen action, no problem at all, because in fact this bulkhead conceals a television, a motorised stand no less. Just basically press this button and up it comes. And I have to say that this split washroom arrangement is in fact rather excellent. A fantastic fit and finish. It definitely looks like something from a boutique hotel. A couple of things that I really like about this is the very smart tap. And the arrangement underneath that is there's a cover for the sink drainer hole, which is very elegant indeed. 
There's also loads of mirrors, lighting, everything you could possibly want, storage under the sink, and next to this, this rather large shower compartment. And don't worry, a 180 litre fresh water tank will make sure there is plenty of water for all your showering needs. On the other side of the vehicle, we have a loo with the bench configuration, and opposite that, a rather large wardrobe. The rear bedroom has the fixed twin single beds layout, which is certainly one of the most popular on the market, and for good reason. It allows the occupants to get access to the washroom in the middle of the night without having to disturb their partner. All very useful. The decor here is very good. You get nets on the side windows, headboard lights, very comfortable mattresses, and those cushions with the Sun Eye name woven into them. And perhaps most importantly of all, for a van that may actually end up touring quite warm climbs, one of two air conditioning units is fitted here in the rear bedroom that you'd normally expect to find a roof light. And there's another two berths at the front of the van, a manually operated pull down double bed that's two meters long. The Canal Sun Eye 900 LEG will set you back just over 100,000 pounds on the road. It's just over 8.8 .8 meters long and is based on the Fiat Ducato with a 5,500 kilogram chassis. So you'll need C1 entitlement on your driving license to be able to drive it. What that does come with though is a rather large payload of 975 kilograms, some of which you can stuff in the rather large rear garage, which is accessible from both sides of the vehicle, is heated and it has tie downs for bulky items. Now this van will appeal to the kind of people embarking on long tours of places like Europe where it's all about self-sufficiency and this van certainly has the equipment to be able to offer that. And obviously it's quite long so in some cases you may be best advised to inquire ahead of turning up and expecting to pitch such a large vehicle. But for some people if you've got the money then this van will be a great solution to your touring needs and let's face it after all wouldn't you love to have a bit of sun eye in your life